Hello friends, in this video we are going to see a simple Java program structure. Okay. How a Java how it will be simple Java program structure, how it will be. As you can see here, this is a small example for Java program. Here on the above you can see it is a package. What is package we will see in the later classes but today we will see what is here class and why we will write public static void main string arguments why we will write like this ok so let's start with the class if you are starting a program you have to write with the class keyword and then you have to write class name and you should remember that the class name should be should start with capital letter as you can see here capital C and the program should also be saved with the name of class name fine okay. once you do with that you have to open with the flower bracket and as you write this flower bracket you have to also end this one for this flower bracket this is the end here and for this flower bracket this is the end here okay Finally, let's come with the next line here this is the main method of a java program and here below is the set of instruction the instructions you will write here it's 15 hours. the instructions you will write here and for uh, i have written a small instruction for example like system dot odd dot print ln hello world and this will give output display on on monitor or anywhere fine this is the output display now what is here the public static void main ok let's see in the ppt the void main void main is like from where the program is going to start execution ok so this is the point from where the execution will get started for the execution should get started it should be accessed from outside of the class for that reason we will write public public static void main for ex ex uh, access it, sh it should get access outside of the class the reason we write public if we don't write public then we cannot able to access it from outside of the class and the void main start execution from this point now why we will write static as you can see here public for execution outside of the class and now why we will write static why because it should be before or it should be present before object creation void method main must be static before it must be executed before object creation like uh, if we declare any component in java as static they, they are executed and available before object creation if it doesn't declare as a static it won't be available before object creation once after entering in, into the main method we have to do object creation now object is the physical memory so we will see in the later classes what is the object so for ob before object creation if you want to declare or if you want to execute any value then we have to write static so we are writing static to the main method now we have seen what is public static and now we will see why void main ok why we will write void as you know why we will write void because it is a non return type method we don't want to return it to any anywhere that's why we will write void in the statement the method which does not return any values to other method are known as non return type method ok that's, so, that's the reason we use void now we have seen what is public for accessing outside the class what is static it should be executed before object creation and why void because it does not return any method to any method any value to any other method now what is the main it is the starting point of the execution of the class and now we will see why string arguments because 
void main must be passed with string arguments because in java language everything must be existed in the form of string data okay because everything is existed here in the form of a string data that's the reason why we write string arguments and in the future classes we'll also see what is the arguments and here string is a class that's why we'll write string as in caps caps letter do remember one thing in java that whatever classes are there that we have to write with the capital letters here as you can see here and here system is also a class that's why it start with the capital s okay so this is the basic now we have seen why public because it should be access access of the class Every, everyone should access why static because uh, it should be executed before object creation and why void because it should not return any value to any other method non returning method and why main is the starting point of the execution and why string arguments because it consists of a string of data for the execution see this this all we have set of instructions are right in the form of a string okay it, that's why it is called as a high level language it is a it is a whom user friendly language okay if it is a low level language then it is a machine language it is a high level language means a normal user can use it so just now we have seen in the video in this tutorial we have seen why will uh, the simple java program structure what is void main what is the main method what are the string arguments why we have why we will write public why we will write string why will write static okay if you like my video please press like share and subscribe for other videos thanks for watching